Once again, what is mental toughness? Let's tie this all up. Focused, confident, determined, and resilient. Focus is, is the easy one. We already do it. We already have the brain. Uh, I gave you some tools. That's really simple. When you get rid of the interference, that becomes really easy. You learn how to direct your thoughts. I give you plenty of things to put your mind on. Remember the Ferrari mind. Confidence, I just covered that. It's a whole separate training. There's some tools to build. Once again, you've got to get rid of the interference. Determination, now this is big. This is motivation. This is drive and desire. And it can overcome anything. We covered that a little bit, but I want to go a little bit deeper here in, in making this all happen because this is the fuel that is going to get you to do the work to clear your interference so these work. This is the fuel that is going to keep you going when things don't go well. Keep you in an empowered place so that you can fix things that are not going well with you. <laughs> Determination and resilience kind of work hand in hand. It's about never giving up. Find that by looking for times in your past, write it out in your journal if you want to so have it there, when you have come back, when you have shown determination, when you've done things, when they were difficult, push yourself through. Everybody has experiences like this. Now, let me just tell you where I get mine from. Mine comes from the worst adversity I've ever experienced in my life. Literally, I was on antidepressants, my entire body, I was in sickness from, you know, all kinds of crazy stress-related illnesses. I was going to psychologists, um, chiropractors, medical doctors regularly. Nobody, uh, they just ba basically kept me going. I'm in better shape today, 50, 52, than when I was in my 30s now. Like I said, I was uh, diagnosed clinically depressed. I ended up having zero money, got out of a relationship, quit my job, cleaned out my retirement account to do what I'm doing right here. And, look, and I look at where I'm at today. And I draw strength. And I'm grateful for having been to the bottom of the barrel. And knowing that I pulled myself out of it once, I can always do it again. That's determination. Find your, your story of adversity to help you get started with that. Anytime you want to just, if this is what you're lacking, think about things that you are already passionate, care deeply about. A pet, uh, an issue in the world, that you'd like to um, solve? How about a movie? Something that's a, a book, a story that has really affected you. Music. Recognize that and every time you come in contact or think about that on purpose and you expand your ability to feel and you really recognize it and you're conscious about it, then anchor it. Remember the anchor, your symbol, your movement. You can expand this. This will be your fuel. It will drive you, will keep you on your path no matter what. It will pick you back up when things don't go well. 